My name's Ed Holt. I am a registered mental health nurse, but I'm also a lecturer at the University of Essex. And I'm here to answer some questions that were put to me by uh, some young people from the South End YMCA. And they've, they've been put to me, and hopefully I'll be able to answer some, or at least give some approximation as to understanding a bit more about what they're asking. Rachel Mead asks, how does performing help to stop anxiety for certain people? For example, I normally tremble, but when playing an instrument, it stops. Okay, I, I understand that. I, I really do. And, and I think that's more about sort of concentration, perhaps. Prior to doing anything anxiety-provoking, you have all these thoughts and feelings about the situation that you're in. Particularly, I think, performing is, is one of those, those elements where you may be thinking about the situation. If you're performing in front of people, there's, there is going to be anxiety. There's going to be this element of, what are people going to think about me? You know, what, what's going to happen? What if I mess up? What if it goes wrong? All these things, all these possible scenarios, um, but almost to the point where your mind you're using up so much energy to have those thoughts that it can stop you from functioning. The thing is that it's almost like this is triggering what is generally regarded as the fight or flight response. Your body is primed to respond to anxiety. It's, it's this almost innate thing that's in our human nature uh, to, to respond to anxiety that either means we've got to run away or fight it, which if you think about it, that generates certain things inside your body to, to run away or to, to fight means that you're going to need some energy you're going to need you're going to need oxygen you're going to need blood so your heart starts pumping your 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 pupils dilate because you're going to need to see things y your body's priming itself for action and and that can stop a person from functioning it's probably why you might experience feeling heart palpitations you know shakiness all these types of things when you're worried about something that's anxiety, and, 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 and it demonstrates to me that you can control it, because you say when you start playing, it stops. You're concentrating on something else. You're focusing on your creative ability. And, and I think that applies with, with a lot of people, that when they concentrate on something else, when they're occupied, when they have an occupation to do, all those worries may dissipate. It doesn't necessarily work for everybody, but you saying that it stops tells me that you can manage it. So th there, is, there is that, that you're managing the anxiety, and once you start focusing on something, all those other worries tend to fade away. Oliver Hicks asks, how do you reflect on overcoming mental health in music? You know, I, I, I take that to mean that, that you're looking to perhaps express some of your experiences and your feelings in your music, and, and, and that, you know, that be reflected in, in what you're producing. I kind of advocate being open and honest about things um, and, and having, you know, having those conversations and allowing them to be normal conversations. I think that, that if you can convey a story or whatever message it is that, you're, that you're, you, you have experienced, I think others will, will connect with that, which I think some people may take solace in or, or find comfort in it at least.